from Columbia, PA today, and Harry and I are going to explain the progress to date on former Public Service Coordinated Transport or Newark, New Jersey, car number 26. One of the things we found is the severe damage done by leaving the car, the fact that the car was stored out outside for so many years. Uh, we uncovered a multitude of sins once they got the seven or eight coats of paint off. So we're just going to show you uh, some of the detail work that's been done. This area here, as Harry would say, it's a classic area of deterioration on the PCC car. This lower area right at the floor line. The floor line would be roughly where my hand is. And it's a common area for deterioration. They often leak at the front end or at the window, right under the operator's seat and rot out. In this area, RMS has cut out the deteriorated area. It's a nice heavy gauge of steel. It's welded in, major replacement piece welded in. Ground the welds down. This will all then be finished smooth and eventually painted. You would never know a patch was done here. Yeah, some of the real detail work and uh, time consuming is repairing the work at the roof seam. Uh, very meticulous, time consuming. Uh, each little piece of steel has to be cut. So this has all been done. In this area, the, we could confirm it's about a day and a half just to make the pieces to ensure they're at the right contour to match the body contour, let alone to get them welded in and grind the welds down and eventually finish them. All right, this area here is one of the number of areas on the roof that have had to be repaired. The majority are done, we still have some to do, but each of these were just years of outside storage, especially after the car left Newark. Unfortunately, we think the idea that the cars were wrapped in plastic while well, attempt was made to arrest the slow the deterioration, unfortunately it tended to trap moisture. This is one of several areas along the roof, at the roof, the car body seam, where existing steel had to be cut out, new pieces made, and then welded in place. There's several of those areas as we go around the car. Also, another weak spot, uh, and the result of outside storage, right by all the window posts, uh, all have to be reinforced. Uh, you'll see on the other side, almost every one of these posts had to be reinforced with pieces of steel. Uh, custom work, this was all rotted out. Again, it's a weak spot. Remember, these cars were only designed for what, a 25 year service life? Is that This car is 70, 70 years old. So, uh, this is all custom done. And that's a real testament to the craftsmanship of RMS. You can see it's curved both here, the body is also contoured. The make this required quite a bit of talent. And we're really pleased and impressed with the work of RMS has done. We've also done these lower areas yeah. here. Now again, this is another weak spot on the PCC car body design. Almost all of them have problems back here. This is another, some other examples of the deterioration that had to be removed and what it looks like in progress. You can see up top, there are areas along that roof to car body seam. It gives a good example to show you how the roof overlapped the car body, um, where it was deteriorated, and RMS cut it out strategically in order to make pieces that are both you know, easier to weld in, easier to blend in, as well as match the contours of the car body. This is another one of the corner seams. You can see this is in progress. The pieces have been made and welded in. They'll still need, to be, still need to be cut to the right contour, if you want to say along this area here and then ground down, as well as the rear end repairs, which are in progress. This, many people remember from Newark, they had a battery jumper that went here. Uh, we are removing that, but uh, that will eventually be repaired. And then more areas here, they were numbered for RMS for easier repair along the floor to car body seam. And then as Harry mentioned, I'll let Harry explain a little more. Yeah, this piece of steel had a lot of rot in it. Uh, again, from outside storage. Uh, this whole section, and it, again, just about every window post, they had to put new steel in because of corrosion. These new doors, were custom made for the car. They're made of high quality marine grade plywood. Jerry Satterelli, a master carpenter, uh, performed this work. 
we were able to obtain for him a set of scale, actual full-size drawings for these doors, thanks to the Minnesota Street Car Museum. The original doors for these cars were steel. These match the original in size and pattern, except they are wood. Wood was later used as a replacement. The steel doors were found to have rusted out. The plywood doors that were on the car when Baltimore got it were beyond repair. But Jerry did a phenomenal job using high quality marine grade plywood, building these to design and fitting them both here at the center exit as well as at the front exit. Uh, they will be, of course, eventually finished, primed, and painted, and, and then, then installed. Yeah, the glass, I believe, is going to be replaced when it gets back to Baltimore. Exactly. New safety glass. Yeah, new safety glass. This area here shows more of what we found with both the window posts as well as up at the roof. You can see there's several large areas at the roof that were, the deterioration was pretty severe. This side of the car, for whatever reason, the upper half of the car body and the lower part of the roof on this side of the car seem to be far worse than the other side. Uh, in fact, the area by the center destination side was particularly deteriorated. But you can see the repairs are in progress. And in this case, forward of the center doors, each and every post had to be repaired, both here on the outside, and in a moment, we'll show you the inside as well. All right, we've proceeded inside the car at this point. This area gives a good example of the deterioration found inside the car prior to repairs. You'll see in a moment the repaired areas of the car. This is up at the operator's platform. You can see these are your structural posts for the car body. And you see the deterioration in this area. This is the one that hasn't been repaired yet. In a moment, we'll look at the ones that have been. You can see here at this corner, at the operator's platform, this will all be cut out, repaired. And this is the damage here and along the sides of the car, primarily from salt, not so much from underneath, but as passengers walked on salty platforms, tracked the salt in their shoes, the car was heated, the salty water melted, tended to run to low areas and rust them out. Yeah, this car, we found more deterioration on the interior than we did on any of the Philly cars. Okay, one other thing we found. As they buffed up the interior of the car, we came across the original green that public service had all the way up to the standee windows. And we've been able, with a PPG paint coat, to pretty much match this. So the car will be the original green all the way up to here, cream on the ceiling. All right, as we came into the interior, this is a good example to the repairs that have been done so far at each of these structural members. You can see this has since been repaired, welded in, primed, and coated with a black Rust-Oleum. There is the sheet metal heat vent covers that go over them. Actually, they're polished aluminum. They go over top. So this will all be hidden. But it shows the level of repair necessary both here and then to clean out these voids. This area actually serves as a duct for the air, the heated air off of the car resistors. When the car's thermostats call for heat, and the thermostats do work and the heaters work, uh, it blows forced air into the car. Now, as I step back here, you can see two of the nine auxiliary heat elements in this car. They're basically like an edge wound resistor, wire coils wrapped around. Unfortunately, based on the inspection today, we found that all nine of these will need to be replaced. They're intact, but badly deteriorated. It does give us the added benefit of being able to, once they're removed, clean out some more hidden areas of the car. This is an unanticipated change to the car, so if you are interested in donating to this car, and many people have been very generous to date, we appreciate it. Uh, we will continue to need some more generosity. This is an unplanned change that we will have to finance and do before the car is reassembled.